guys it's Jodie and welcome to a new vlog so this vlog is going to be very different to my usual reading vlogs it isn't really going to be a reading vlog I will potentially listen to some audiobooks during this vlog and hopefully update you guys on them but generally this is not going to be a reading vlog and you may be wondering why so if you didn't already see one of my previous videos with my big life update and my book on haul me and JB have bought our first house and I'm going to be doing a moving vlog series and this is going to be the first vlog in that series and I'm so excited to share all these things with you guys and just show you guys my new space and yeah I'm very excited so welcome to the first moving vlog this is so weird I just yeah it hasn't sunk in properly yet so today is Sunday and we actually move in on Tuesday well we should be getting our keys on Tuesday so yeah we don't have a lot of time to do everything but basically we have today and tomorrow to go and get everything we need and pack up stuff so we have already boxed up a lot of things and i do actually have some footage of me boxing things up from a few days ago so i will insert that after this clip but we are going to go to ikea today and to costco we're going to get some last bits that we need i still need to order bookshelves and stuff but i'm waiting until we actually move in and i can figure out exactly how i want them and i'll know which ones that i want to buy so i'll be doing an ikea order probably on tuesday and hopefully they come like quite soon for now we're just going to go to ikea and get like just the last little bits that we do need and like just stuff like that and I think I might also buy my new reading chair today which is really exciting so yeah we're gonna bring you guys along I think to Ikea which will be fun and then we're gonna box up some stuff tonight I think when we get back I still need to box up my bookshelves but I will film a separate video of me boxing all my books off which I'm just that is freaking me out I really don't want to do that. I don't want to touch my shelves um but yeah so we move in on Tuesday so not a lot of time to do everything but yeah we're gonna go to Ikea Costco and then I will do a little haul when we get back as well and I'm gonna try and listen to some audiobooks today potentially I don't know we'll see so if I do I will definitely update you guys but then I will talk to you guys later <laughs> Okay, so we really like this cabinet. It's so nice. So we might get this to go in the living room. And I like this chair as well, but I don't know what color to get it in. This is my favorite room. This is like my dream, dream living room. <laughs> so nice. I would get this couch if it wasn't such horrid material. I want a fireplace like this. That's nice, I do like that light, it's different isn't it? I love this, but I don't think they sell it do they? <gasps> they do, I'm getting this picture guys if I can find it. Obsessed, oh my god. Thank <laughs> you. 
guys so i'm trying to decide what reading chair to get i'm stuck between gray and green amy thinks green my sister thinks green and i just don't know i can't even mind up so i don't know i might get green i'm just getting kids i regret it i hope this fits in my little persia it's so big jamie's telling me off for taking too long <gasps> oh no green gone for the green one <laughs> So we're just going to Costco. The struggle was real from my Kia. Look how cute this is. I want it so bad, but I don't know how much it is. But I'm obsessed. It's so cute. Okay, so hey guys. So I am so freaking tired. We have been to Ikea and Costco. We've been out since like nine, half nine this morning. I'm just so tired and I have a splitting headache. But I do have a haul for you guys. So when we went to Ikea, we mostly just got like kitchen stuff. So so yeah, we got like all our plates and bowls and all that kind of stuff. But then we did get a few other little bits that I'll show you now. And I also got my reading chair, which I'm absolutely in love with. I'm really excited about. We actually spent like half an hour debating what colour I should get. And I pretty much texted like all of my friends like asking which colour I should get. Because I could just not make up my mind. So in the end, I did go with something that I would never usually go for. I would usually always keep a neutral tone. But I did get something else. And I'm really happy. And I'm so excited to actually use this chair. Because my reading chair I have now is just not comfy. So yeah, I'm really, really happy. I will show you guys that in a different video where I'm setting up my library room. But it was from Ikea. But yeah, I'm happy that I got that. So anyway, I don't have a lot of decorative things to show you guys. Because we already bought most of that stuff. But I will show you the stuff that I did get. So we did get some plants. Which are really, really cute. Ow, and spiky. got this one. Because he thought it was really, really cute. And Which is this one here. Um, and it's just this little flower. Uh, really, really cute. <laughs> And then we also got this one here. So I wanted like a big one of these, but we could not fit in the car. So I settled for a small one and it's really, really cute. Don't know where this is gonna go, but I love her. Like she's just cute, tropically. Um, so yeah, I have no idea where this is gonna go, but yeah, we got this like cute little plant. And then we got this one here, which I really love, but I'm not sure what room I'll put this in, um, but this is a succulent and it just looks like this here. And it has like these in. Unfortunately, a piece did snap off on the drive home, which is kind of sad. Um, but I mean, I think she'll be okay. Let's hope she makes a recovery. Um, but yeah, so we got that. And I definitely want to get a lot more succulents and just like loads of plants in general. So if you have any recommendations for websites to order plants from, then please let me know. Because I want to get like loads of indoor plants and I'm really excited. So that's kind of like the plant stuff. And then I just got another one of these mugs because I already had one and I'm just in love with this. Like look how pretty it is. It's like an eggshell blue kind of colour and I just love it. Um, and it's a really nice size. So I just wanted to get another one just so I always have like a spare one. And then I did get this little teapot which has the little strainer in so you can put your loose leaf tea in here because I don't actually have one of these and I have a lot of loose leaf tea. I usually just use like the mini ones that I have from like bulk boxes and stuff but I wanted an actual teapot to properly brew them in and yeah this will be like really really cute for that. Then I also got, I got two plant pots, I don't know where the other one, oh these ones are there. So I got this little plant pot here. Um, I don't know if I have a plant that will fit in here yet, but I really, really like this, like, design on it. Oh, I love that sound. Um, but yeah, I got this one. I just thought it would be, like, a nice one to pop one of the plants in. Then I got this bigger one here with, like, these little, like, raised dots on. I just thought this, again, would be really cute. They look really cute next to each other as well. Like, I love these. So I need to find a big plant to put in this one. And I just picked up another one of my favourite candles, which is this vanilla one. Absolutely love these. They smell absolutely incredible. And then I got this dome here. So last time I went to Ikea, I did actually see this idea there. And I love it. So basically, I'm going to get some pages from an old book and roll them up like scrolls with some brown little string. And then place them inside here. And I just think this will look really, really nice on a shelf. I don't know if I will put this on like a bookshelf of mine or in like the living room or something. But I just thought it would be really fun to make. So I bought one of these and then I got some blueberry jam because I've never seen blueberry jam anywhere before. And I love blueberries. So I'm excited to try this. And it looks like really, really nice as well. Like I'm really, 
really excited and then i also got this gigantic jar so this is just for the kitchen and i just thought if we ever like bake anything or something or like get some pastries or something we can chuck them in this jar and have them on the counter and i just thought it was a really nice like jar <laughs> and then i did get an artificial plant because i want a real one of these but the ones i had there i couldn't tell if they were like near death or not so i didn't buy them but i did get this artificial one i've already bought one of these i think but i just love it so much so i picked up another one and i'll probably put this like on my bookshelf or maybe like in the front room or something i'm not too sure yet but i just thought it was really nice like it will look nice on a shelf i think that's pretty much the only like fun stuff to show you guys like i said everyone else was just like bowls and stuff but i have some things i have got recently that are like spooky themed that i may as well show so i have done a homeware haul and a spooky autumnal haul that will be going up on my patreon soon so if you want to see all of the spooky autumnal halloweeny stuff i've bought then it will be in that video but these are just bits i've picked up since that video so i may as well show in this vlog so i have is this the pumpkin yet so I got this really cute pumpkin jar from TK Maxx and it just looks like this. Oh, I love it so much. Um, so it just has a little clasp and then you can like put in whatever you want. So I don't know if maybe I'll just use this to put sweets in on like Halloween when kids come trick or treating or something or I'll use it for something else. But I could not buy this. It was 5 99 and I just thought that was like such a bargain and it's just so cute and I love it so much. Then I also got some glasses. So... I got this one here which look how beautiful this is so it's like rose gold and black and it has like a spooky graveyard on it and like creepy trees bats and yeah I'm absolutely in love with this I just think it's so pretty and I can't wait to use this love it they only had one so I only got one obviously but then I did get two of these so these ones I am just so in love with and I do wish I'd bought more of but they were quite expensive I think um but then again they are glass so these were 5 99 and they are just these glass ones with like this skeleton hand on the bottom. I don't know if it will focus. So they look like this. So I did get two of these as well and I just think they're so nice. Absolutely love them. Then I do have some books to show you guys that are like decorative and just like ones I want to show. So me and Jamie are going to be building some like shelves either side of like the chimney breast in the living room. And we want some like books to go on there or on the coffee table. And I've been eyeing these up for ages because these are two of my favourite artists. And I just thought these would be perfect. So I picked up these books here. So I have this Leonardo da Vinci one here, which is just so cute. It's so tiny. So I got that one. Then I have this other Leonardo da Vinci one, which is by Tashen, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, and it just looks like this. And it has a gorgeous black and gold spine. And it's just got all of his work inside um, and info about it. And I just thought this was really, really nice. And then I also got this Michelangelo one as well, which just looks like this. So I might pick up some more of these because I just think they're so pretty. But yeah, I really, really love these and I'm excited to display those. And then lastly, I have this to show, which a patron of mine, Vanessa, sent me. So Vanessa is just one of the nicest people ever and... Just literally this made me want to cry when I read this note. So she sent me this here off my wish list, which is Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales. And this is the Canterbury Classics collection version. And I already have a couple of the Canterbury Classics ones, but not this one. And I've wanted this for so long. I love this edition. It's so creepy looking. And this is just perfect. Like, I love it. And she sent me a really, really lovely note. And she said that this is like a kind of housewarming present. And like just saying such like lovely lovely things in this note and it honestly just means the world so yeah thank you so much Vanessa this is just so sweet of you and I'm just so excited to display this so yeah that is kind of like everything that we got today we got a lot of stuff from Costco but it was just like bulk of like things we use a lot and like foods and stuff so I'm obviously not going to show those but yeah that's pretty much the haul I think for now we are going to bubble wrap and box up all of the like plates and kitchen stuff we bought today and we might like box up some other things so yeah that's pretty much it for now didn't do any reading today didn't listen to an audiobook but i might listen to one now whilst we do some packing up so yeah i'll speak to you all soon bye <laughs>
into this box because there's loads of room and this is a lot of mugs to be fair for one person and this is bearing in mind that I already have an entire box of mugs already boxed up like that is how out of hand my mug collection is and I also have like a million mugs on my bookshelves as well so there's absolutely no need for me to have this many mugs but I can't stop buying them like I just love mugs so much but yeah I'm gonna box them all up and I'm sad to part with them for like two days <laughs> Oh, I'm so not looking forward to packing these clothes. This isn't even all of them. This is just some. And I don't even really wear any of these, but I just don't want to get rid of them. But I need to try and squeeze like as much of my clothes as possible into this suitcase. And I just can't be bothered. I am losing the energy to do this. But yeah, here we go. <laughs> As you saw yesterday, we boxed some things up, and now the time has come to box up my bookshelves, and I'm scared and sad to do this. So I was originally going to film this as a separate video, but I've just decided to add it to this vlog now. But before I get into all that and talking about all that, I just want to show you two things, that's all, two things that I picked up today. So I got these really cute autumnal oven mittens from TK Maxx. These were $7.99, just look how cute these are. Oh, all the open stuff. I'm just so happy. And then I also got this chopping board with these little bats on the bottom. Not that I needed another chopping board, but I think I might use this as like a serving platter. I just love it. I had to have it because I had the bats on. This was also from TK Maxx and it was $5.99. So yeah, I just thought I'd show those. I'm just so, I'm so happy with all the autumnal kind of stuff at the moment. Oh yes, right now, I'm very tired, very warm. It's currently 8 o'clock and we will hopefully be getting the keys tomorrow at about 3 o'clock-ish, maybe? I don't know. Like, honestly, I have no idea when we will get the keys, but yes, we move out tomorrow. So it's our final night here at my parents' house and it's bittersweet because as excited as I am to move out, it's going to be sad at the same time. And, like, seeing my little bedroom that I've lived in for so long empty is just going to probably make me cry, but... Yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow. I'm going to be doing lots of things tomorrow. So I am going to film a new moving vlog tomorrow where you guys will see us moving in. We're going to go to B&Q in the morning to get paint and stuff and just things like that. So yes, anyways, back to this vlog. I have four big bookshelves in total. I have the whole of the top of the bookshelves covered in all my Sarah J Mass books and my Cassandra Clare books, well, some of them. And then I also have my desk I need to empty into boxes as well. And I have another bookshelf with all my manga and graphic novels on. So we have a lot to do. I have nowhere near enough boxes. So we'll see how this goes. But yes, yeah, let's box up my shelves. I'm so scared. <laughs> It's currently like 10 p.m. maybe even later. <laughs> Jamie's bringing me tea and a chocolate muffin to give me some more energy to continue because I'm losing the will to live. Thank you. Nothing makes you feel better like a cup of tea does. Chocolate muffin. Um, so basically, I spent like the last two hours 
just wrapping up my candles and all of my decor stuff that I had on the shelves. So like bookish mugs, um, little trinkets, candles, all that kind of stuff and then we've emptied my desk and most of my windowsill and that has literally taken us two hours and I did unfortunately smash one of my ornaments which just literally broke my heart but part of it is salvageable so fingers crossed I can glue some of it back together um but now we have the difficult task of boxing up all of the books on my shelves and I know I don't have enough boxes or bags so I don't know how I'm going to do this and I don't know where I'm going to put them either because there's just no room left in the entire house like there's just stuff everywhere um so I think right now I'm going to have a break and just have some tea and this muffin and then I'm going to make a start on it I'm just so freaking tired like oh I just can't wait until we're moved in and I can sort everything out but I'm also kind of dreading it I didn't realise how much stuff I had until now and it's just, it's scary. But yes, anyway, I'm going to go and eat, I'm going to have my tea and then I will probably talk to you guys later once I've emptied my shelves, hopefully. <laughs> We started emptying the box, but we haven't actually boxed any yet. And oh my goodness, like, look at all of these books. This isn't even half of my shelves. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, absolutely ridiculous. Send help. <laughs> have boxed up some of the books but my camera died and we've actually run out of boxes and we're not even halfway through boxing the books up so honestly I don't know what we're going to do we've boxed some of them up as you can see behind me but yeah I just don't know what we're going to do an option is to like take boxes and empty things and then obviously bring the empty ones back and refill them with books but we don't know what time we'll be getting the keys tomorrow. We probably won't get the keys until like 3 p.m. onwards. So like that's going to be hard to like go back and forth and do. And like I just don't know if we'll be able to do that tomorrow. Which kind of sucks. And I haven't actually been able to organise my books like by genre or series or anything. Like we've literally just been grabbing like any book and chucking it in a box to make it fit. So it's going to be fun to unpack all these and try and organise them. But yeah, I'm just feeling a little bit stressed just because I don't know how I'm going to get all this stuff there and everything's just a mess and I don't feel organised but I guess this is what buying a house feels like so it's all good. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really tired. It's, what time is it? It's only 11pm but I think just because we've like been boxing for hours and it's just like a long day and we've been so busy i think we're both just absolutely drained and obviously tomorrow we do want to get like stuff done and get organized so i think tomorrow morning we're gonna go to like b and q to get paint and like just things like that so yeah tomorrow probably well obviously will be a busy day fingers crossed everything goes okay but you will see us moving in and taking everything to the new house in the next vlog and a empty house tour should be up on my patreon very soon as well but yes i'm gonna end this vlog here just because we will be starting a new vlog tomorrow for moving day so i hope you guys did enjoy this moving vlog i only listened to an audiobook for like 
an hour so i did listen to some more of the deathless girls the other night when i was packing stuff up but i just haven't like been able to concentrate to listen to an audiobook like whilst packing i just can't um so i am on chapter 30 now of the deathless girls i only have 50 minutes left of the audiobook so i might finish that tomorrow um but yeah obviously this hasn't been a reading vlog it has just been a moving vlog so I hope you guys still enjoyed it anyway and you will enjoy the other videos coming up in this series and yes thank you so much for watching this video all of my social media will be linked down below along with the link to my patreon and don't forget to give this a big thumbs up and if you would like to comment a little house emoji please feel free to do so if you made it to the end of this video and I hope you're all safe and well I hope you're reading lots of good books and I'll see you in the next video bye